Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the interview questions asked at Apple company from one of our subscriber. So recently one of our subscriber who is an asset is having nearly four plus years of experience. He got an opportunity to get interviewed at Apple company. So there are multiple interview questions that I would, I would like to share with you. Uh, he was able to recall nearly nine to 10 questions. So what I have done is I have created a document of these particular questions along with the answers. And you would get this document on our top mate profile itself. So let me share the screen real quick with you and then will also showcase you few of the questions in that. Okay. So as you can see, these are Apple testing interview questions and answers for test automation. So if you are an asset or if you are looking for a job in the product based companies like Apple, so the job opportunities are there. And recently one of my subscriber itself got uh, interviewed there right so nearly 10 plus interview questions you would get and these are all functional coding based and as and when more and more people would be going for the interviews in such companies so i'll be creating a document and it is available at a very nominal cost so let me also showcase you few of the questions that uh, he got so that you get a fair idea of what kind of uh, questions you can expect and if you are in working at a qa automation at an asset level then such kind of questions would be asked to you in interviews. See, it doesn't matter that uh, how much preparation you do, right? It, it is very important that you are uh, also presenting your answers proper, properly. So the words that you speak in an interview, the words that you choose for your answer in an interview are very important because many a times the answers itself are not structured, right? So then it becomes a difficult thing so he was actually interviewed for two or three rounds and then uh, he'll be further getting the uh, interview rounds as well so there are many other candidates also now see the hiring has started in these kind of companies like apple morgan stanley all these kind of companies so it is up to you how well you are prepared and how much good presentation skills you are having so one of the questions that he got is if two features are done in parallel so when you are developing automation in parallel for multiple features at the same time how would you make your branching strategy branching in the means uh, whenever you use your version control tool like git or or svn or tfs or maybe gitlab or bitbucket or source tree then how would you make your branching strategy because there can be multiple people working on different different features at the same particular time so what would you do at that time so here is a detailed approach so one is you will be having main branch then you will be having one uh, development branch so development branch is nothing but it will serve as an integration branch for the features okay so features are merged here before they are moving to the main branch main branch is a stable branch so whenever you have your uh, client or whenever you have your customers or stakeholders who are triggering your test so they would be triggering from the main branch they should not be triggering from your feature branches or test branches or developer branches because there are times when you might get some errors there so you have to keep one of the branch which is stable where you have done the development which is final and it is tested thoroughly it should not happen that you are getting some issues at that particular moment so your code should be tested and it should be merged so it should always be in a deployable state right so that is your main branch or you can say your master branch then comes your development branch wherein you would be merging your features it is useful for continuous integration you want to test it with ci cd those kind of things then comes your feature branch let's say an individual a new feature whenever it has been developed right so it would be created the checkout would be taken from the development branch right so these branches would be named based on the feature being developed like feature one feature two for example you have a payment feature you have a search feature right so those kind of feature branches and then you have your test branches so at the individual level also you will be having your test branches wherein you would be first testing your <coughs> code that you have done sorry your code that you have done your code that you have designed your code that you have developed you would be running it and you would be unit testing it that is your test branch 
what are self healing tests so self healing tests are nothing but let's say there are some particular test scripts which are getting failed in your automation but now there is a concept of self healing test that those tests will automatically take care of themselves they might be going for some kind of retry mechanism they might be using some intelligent automation techniques to adjust to the changes in the application and then they are reducing the test maintenance efforts and they are increasing the robustness so it will have some kind of machine learning algorithm integrated with it so here self healing tests are nothing but those are again automated test selenium itself but those would be having some advanced techniques like ai is there machine learning is there wherein you would be using some intelligent algorithms to identify okay this particular changes needs to be done to this particular script and then it would start up and running so those kind of things so as you can understand you can also tell in an answer there are various things so one is dynamic locator strategies so you can dynamically update the locator maybe if the locator has changed when the script was executing so just update it and then see if it is still failing or not so this is kind of a self healing right you don't need to intervene in between it's a kind of a self check it would do okay this got failed and by itself it would take care of it machine learning algorithms so if there are some particular test which can identify which can predict which elements might be failing based on historical failures so first of all you will be coming up with the different sets of data and you would be doing a kind of analysis there right so what kind of test have been failing how many times it have got failed so those kind of things then reduce maintenance so self healing test automatically will minimize the need for the manual intervention right then testability will also increase so such kind of things you can tell behavioral interview questions you can get like lack of test coverage so what are the different issues that you have faced in your team and what you did to solve them so various kind of issues that you might get so here a few of the examples i have given like lack of test coverage so what was the problem statement was was the solution that you give so see in an interview it becomes very important that you just don't highlight the problems you just don't highlight the challenges but you also highlight the solutions or what was your approach to deal with those kind of problems right so that becomes very important then flaky test are there resource constraints are there right so such kind of things would be asked to you right so this is a small uh, document that has been created with the uh, interview questions and answers and which you would be helpful see it's not like you would get all these questions in an apple company only you might get these kind of questions in any other companies as well as and why now the job market has opened the interviews have started so you would get all these you can expect all these kind of questions at uh, any of these companies right so uh, don't forget to purchase this product on top mate which is available at a discounted rate today so i just showed it to you right and uh, there is a lot of effort there is a lot of hard work that has been put in creating this kind of documentations and it is available at a very nominal price so you would get the interview questions as well as answers and you can get a clarity of what kind of preparation you have done to what level of preparation you further need to do so those kind of things you can get clarity here right so it's available at a very nominal cost so don't forget to purchase it today itself this offer would be available till the 30th of may 2020 right so uh, that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video i'll be putting the link of this particular uh, top mate product in the comment section of the video so that you can avail it right thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.